What up, my friends? Tyrese Maxey under 43 and a half PRA. This line is just too high. Let's go over the numbers, the data, look at the odds right now. All right, yeah, this line right now is available on price picks. Beautiful. In fact, looking at the optimizer, myspari.com, totally free. You can see he is available on both price picks and underdog fantasy and as well. Nice little bonus here on Sleeper. Cliff and Nutters, you have minus 135 odds this morning to take the under. DK, best odds right now at 43 and a half. One of my favorite things to look at right here, Pinnacle, minus 157 to the under of 56.86% implied probability that the under hits per the odds. We're going back to Maxi. We can see him right here on Price Picks. Now, again, I mentioned this number being too high. It is. Listen, here's why. Over the last two seasons, regardless of who is in the lineup, He's been under in 86 of 93 games. He's been under in 29 of 34 this year. Now, yes, I know Joel Embiid is out. So I had to slip that in there before the comments exploded down below. People giving me the player news. Yes, I know Embiid is out, but this line's still too high. This year, without Joel Embiid, he's under in six of seven games, averaging just 32.7 PRA. But Mitch, last season, he popped off without Embiid. No, the line's too high. Last season and this season combined, he's been under in 15 of 17 games. He's literally only hit the over twice. And his PRA average is 35 and a half over that time. I just don't like this line. It's too high. Maybe it down to like 41 and a half. I'd start to think about it and maybe try to middle it. But I don't even mind the 42 and a half if you take it at plus odds. Whatever you do, it's your money. My official under 43 and a half. I love it. Do me a huge favor, my friends, before I get to pick number two, like the video. I, I got to start saying this at the beginning of the video. I know I do. Like the video for me and drop a comment. Comments have been getting lower as I've forgotten to say this at the beginning of videos. Huge favor. That helps me grow on YouTube. It allows me to keep everything here free and the optimizer totally free. So as long as YouTube grows, the comments and the likes and everything goes up, 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 the optimizer stays free. All right. All right. Let's get to it. I got another pick. Now we're going to go line shopping. This next one, I actually want to show you one of the cool features of the optimizer. When you're going through here, and maybe you're like, oh, yeah, I love this maxi play. You click this little box. Watch this. I'm going to go to the saved NBA picks and check it out. I've got two saved picks right here. Last night, I posted this inside Discord, CJ McCollum, over eight and a half rebounds and assists. You can see best odds this morning right now on FanDuel, minus 132. Fliff, minus 155 to the over. I really like that play. It's been bumped on both parlay play and underdog not available on price picks or sleeper. Here's my little write-up I did inside Discord last night. I'll zoom in for you so you can see it. There we go. All right, so there's my little write-up. I like this line a lot. He's been over in 15 of 18 when playing 30-plus minutes. Why does that matter, my friends? Well, tonight's game, we have a, I believe it's two-point spread this morning, and it's going to be a close one. Hopefully very competitive, and if it's competitive, my guy hits the over a ton. Regardless of the amount of minutes, he's hit the over in 17 of 24 overall. But again, those close games where he plays 30-plus minutes, smashes the over, and his average was was, I can't remember off the top of my head. It was like 10.2 or something. This line needs to be nine and a half for me to even be concerned. I'll take the eight and a half. With this line right here with Fliff, my friends, let me help you out for you Fliff and Nutters, because I know a lot of you only have access to Fliff or international books. You could take that juice line, parlay it with the Buffalo Bills money line, and bang, you got yourself a beautiful minus 110. Up to you. Do what you want to do. So that save picks feature, here's how I suggest you use it. Here's how I suggest you use the save picks feature. First off, you can do your own research, and then you can just save all your picks, and then go back later. The next morning, have your cup of coffee, quickly review your picks. You know, you type in Tyrese Maxey, stats, his game log comes up, and you're like, oh, okay, he had 35 PRA. Boom, that one cashed. And you go down your list, 10, 12, 15 picks, whatever it is, your picks, my picks, people on Twitter, people on YouTube, all the people you have notifications for. You track their picks, all right? You can start to get a nice little timeline of how these people are doing over certain trends, uh, certain types of plays. And then you can also research your own and see how you're doing making your own picks. But the Save Picks feature helps you do that. Let's go line shopping real quick. I want to make sure you guys have some more access to the optimizer. Again, myspray.com. If you were going to look at Sleeper today, it's very simple. You can do it just like this. I'm going to remove Tyrese Maxey's name. I don't care about the name. I'm going to go to Select Implied Probability. So let me read it out for you. The NBA tab has been clicked. Show 250 entries has been clicked. I personally turn off the date and the matchup right now because I just don't need them. I don't need to see them for column visibility. Uh, I know what today's date is, and I, I don't care about the matchups in regards to looking up odds. 
Sleeper has been selected. Last but not least, select implied probability, highest to lowest. Now I can see, per the math, these are the best plays on the entire board over on Sleeper. What a nice way to start the day. I love looking at it this way. You can put together nice little parlay simply by staring at the top you know, six, seven picks and put together a couple two pick parlays, however you want to do it. Sometimes you find some really nice lines. Sometimes you get some really interesting plays this way as well when you're able to compare price picks versus FanDuel and things like that. So now I've got price picks up. And you can see it's very early in the morning. You're not going to get a ton of lines, a ton of opportunities. Here's an interesting one, though. James Harden assist at nine and a half. You got pretty heavy juice to the under this morning at nine and a half. And that's an implied probability of 58.12% to take under nine and a half on James Harden. I will say this, my friends, this is an interesting line. If you want to take this, by all means, go for it. But I will say, anytime you see juiced lines like this, I showed this yesterday, and you disagree with them, and you're like, nope, I don't I don't like that line. I like the opposite. Maybe you're like, I think Harden's getting a, a 10 assist today. Well, let me show you two things real quick. I'm going to type in Harden, all right? I've got James Harden. I can look at his assists, and I want to see his assist total. And there we go. So I can see nine and a half on price picks. Been bumped down on these two sites. But check it out. If you like the over, you're going to get plus odds, plus 110 on MGM, plus 100 on Fliff. Again, whenever you see these like heavily juiced lines, you always have a nice opportunity of getting plus odds on the other side of it. So when you do your research, if you come out to this, you're like, I don't know. I think the odds are wrong. I think I think the markets are incorrect, right? Because that's all you're doing. By shopping the price and comparing lines between each sports book, you're essentially reading the markets. And if you disagree with them, you can stand to make a lot of money, just like when you're playing the markets themselves, going the opposite direction here. So you get a plus 110, taking the over nine and a half assist on BetMGM. Another way to look at this, my friends, this is a little tip for you. If you think somebody's going to get 10 of something, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, as long as there's somebody that routinely is scoring 15, 20, 25 points, go look at their double-double. Matter of fact, this morning, I looked at it, and earlier this morning, I saw plus 100 for the over nine and a half assists for James Harden. But when you looked at his double-double, you got plus 105. Essentially, if you think he's going to get 10 assists, you might as well just take the double-double, get the plus 105 instead of the plus 100. How often is he going to get 10 assists and not score 10 points? So take that for what it's worth. Keep it in the back of your mind when you're looking at props and looking at people for the nine and a half line. Because often the double-double, you can get a little bit more value as long as you think they can score 10 plus points. All right, I vowed to try to keep some of these videos shorter this week. That was just a quick glimpse. Just kind of wanted to show you how to use the optimizer more than anything. I'd rather teach you to fish than just feed you all the time. I fed you two picks to start the day. CJ McCollum over eight and a half rebounds and assists. Tyrese Maxey under 43 and a half PRA. Those are both on sports books. Uh, we have the one available on prize picks. So do what you want with that information and then use the optimizer, myspari.com, totally free all day, every day, as long as YouTube keeps growing. The comments are there and the likes are there. The optimizer stays free. So do those first two things and I'll do the third thing. Wish you the best of luck today. Go get yourself paid. I'll see you in the inside of Discord, my friends.